Good evening, everyone. I just went to go grab my corn. Oh, I'm out of breath. Oh, I just got up two pumpkins. And he's over here. I just called him. I gave him one of the big pumpkins and one of the little ones. So this big boy has a whole bunch of pumpkins. All right, corn. I got corn for him. I got him his strawberries, butternut. Everything fell on the floor before. Oh, I dropped the bowl with the pumpkin, the butternut squash. All right, Buck, now you got full water. All right, so I have everything in here, but this fell on the floor. So I try to pick up most of it. There's still a few butternut squash on the ground, but I try to pick up most of the strawberries and everything. Okay. Ah, bon appetit, Buck. So my mother-in-law gave Buck one of the Halloween pumpkins. And the next one he's going to get after Thanksgiving of the big ones. And plus I gave him one more of the small medium sized one. He devoured the other one, the other small one I gave him. He literally, I don't see it anymore. It's gone. So Buck must have ate it all. <laughs> but now he has one big huge pumpkin where he could shove his face into. Plus another one waiting for him that he'll get after Thanksgiving. So the day after Thanksgiving, I could give it to him, which is nice. So but after Thanksgiving, you'll get another big pumpkin. So at least by the time he's done with this one, he'll get the other one. Oh, are you dropping apples, boy? Yes, you are on my side. Hold on, guys. I got to pick this up. Where'd it go? All right here. I'm going to pick up the butternut squash that fell dropped pieces of butternut squash because before his bowl with the butternut squash literally fell to the ground and I was so mad I was like damn it but I think I picked up all the pieces now yeah everything is up <sighs> okay back to the other hand I'm sorry guys this video is going to be a little everywhere I went to go call Buck I called him you got something in your eye yeah I called Buck you gonna drop that I called him and while he was here waiting I went to go get his corn I cut up the pumpkins before I called him. I was like, let me cut up the pumpkins and prepare that for him. So he's going to be excited because after the punk, after his dinner, he could just forage on the pumpkins. I just got to try to flip over this little one. I dropped it face front. I was so mad. I was like, damn it. Even the big ones I dropped face front. And then I went on Buck's side right before he came and I flipped them. But I forgot to flip over the little one. I was like, damn it. I forgot the little one. But that one I could do with a stick. So it's not a big deal. <laughs> I'll give it to you, baby. Wait. Oh, you got it. All right. You ready for the rest of your meal? Are you ready, my big boy? Are you ready? I'll give you the rest of your meal. Hold on. All right, guys. Let's grab the rest of the stuff. I think I lost a strawberry because there was more strawberry pieces in here. And like I said, I made the bowl fell. <sighs> but I got most of it. I don't see any strawberries on the floor. I don't know if I dropped any. Okay. So that's Buck's dinner. Buck has a big dinner. Plus he has a whole bunch of pumpkins that he could devour and enjoy throughout the day and night. There's all the seeds in there. My husband thought I was going to cut the pumpkin up in pieces. He was like, I hope you're not going to sit outside and cut them in all in small pieces. I was like, no, I'm going to cut them into halves. And then he could just dig out on his own. I was like, yeah, I'm going to sit there and cut them into pieces. I was like, no. Oh, it was chilly this morning, but now I can say it's beautiful out. It's not cold at all. It is gorgeous. It feels like fall. Now it doesn't feel like winter anymore. In the morning, it feels like winter. In the afternoon, it feels like a fall, spring type of feeling. Yeah? I'll be there in two minutes. I'm by Buck. Hold on, guys. Hold on one second. My sister in law's calling me. Hold on. Okay, because I don't want them to come here and scare him off, you know? I want him to enjoy his dinner. Usually when I tell everybody in my family I'm making a YouTube video, they're like, okay, we'll leave you alone. <laughs> it's okay, Buck. You can eat, baby. Eat. 
Yeah, it just fills up his water to the tippity top. That's what I like. I like when his water is filled up all the way to the top. So I know he has water then, you know, for the rest of the day till tomorrow. Sometimes in the morning, I find his bucket completely empty, the water. You eat? Yep, he ate all his butt in a squash. He left the corn. And I'll do one scoop of corn. I'll dump it for the squirrels and the birds. They can enjoy it. Look, look, you got pumpkins, baby. You got pumpkins, look. You're surrounded by a whole bunch of pumpkins. Last year, I remember around this time, he would lay down right close by all his pumpkins. If I was to stay out here with him now for like an hour, oh, he would definitely do that. He would probably take a nap right next to his pumpkins. But I'm feeding him before I eat dinner, because by the time I eat dinner and come out, it's gonna start getting dark out. So I was like, let me just feed him now and get it over with, where I don't have to come out here. It's too dark out, you know? I know, I gotta flip that one for you, baby. All right, Buck is going after the one that's flipped. Hopefully he could flip it with his face. Let's see. Well, he has the other ones that are all open and ready to go. There you go. Enjoy yourself, Buck. Now he's gonna shove his face in that one. It's so cute. I like watching him eat the big pumpkins because he just shoves his whole face inside of them. I hear you, Bluey. Bluey's probably like, I see seeds. Now he's gonna dig in. See, there he goes. He's one spoiled buck. Last year he had five pumpkins. I'm not gonna lie, he had a lot more pumpkins than this year. This year a total he had, let's see. One, two, wait, one, two, three, four. So far four pumpkins. Well, he is actually gonna have five pumpkins with the next big pumpkin that's coming. That's it, you're done? All right guys, I guess Buck is leaving me. Yep, he's leaving me. I'm gonna go. I thought it was gonna be a little longer video, but Buck is leaving me. I fed him, I'm happy. He knows he has those pumpkins there, so he'll be coming by every now and then, probably every couple hours to chew on them. I will be back tomorrow morning with another video. Follow me in the video before I end it. I have this pole, I have this stick here. Let me flip his pumpkin. Yeah, so I will be back tomorrow. Oh, let's see if I can flip this. Oh, I can't flip it. <laughs> it's too hard. Yeah, so I will be back. I know this video is a little everywhere. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to keep it steady. I will be back tomorrow morning with another video. I'm sorry this video was everywhere this, uh, this evening for this dinner video. I was just trying to cut the pumpkin, trying to make sure he has everything. And then I had my family calling me, so I'm gonna get going and then go enjoy my Sunday dinner and Sunday family time. And I will be back tomorrow morning with another video. I hope everybody has a great evening and a good night. Today was one of those days that Buck just ate and left. He didn't wanna hang out with me. <laughs> so I'll be back tomorrow, everyone. Have a good night and a great evening. Ciao for now.